Now to Adamawa State, where the Adamawa State government is appealing to the federal government to intervene in redevelopment plan of the Yola Town Market, gutted by fire five days ago. Meanwhile, the traders there are already reacting to the, to the government's plan to relocate the market. <laughs> From the arguments, it looks like it will be a difficult task to make these traders understand that it is not safe to go into the market less than a week after the fire incident. The traders, however, are having none of it and force their way into the over 200-year-old market, maybe with only thoughts of what they can salvage from the rubble. They also express their fear about not being carried along in the state government redevelopmental plan. Government tell uh, people, the business people that they are, that if they complete the market, they will come back. But after they complete the market, and then they never give them. So this is why we here, we are not looking for on, on other place where government need to give us, but we want uh, to government to allow us to maintain our place and stay there to get our, to continue our business. We advise all traders to remain calm as the committees are working hard to ensure that the right thing is done. The deputy governor was here and advised us to listen to complaints of the traders, and we are doing that now. Nobody affected will be left behind. We shall carry everybody along as government is working on how to relocate us to a temporary place, and we are working with them. Meanwhile, the governor and his team are around to assess the level of damage. We don't have the capacity as a state government to, to see, you know, uh, at least uh, the federal government is, is, is more mightier than us. Uh, I would like to, uh, to seize this opportunity at this point in time to, to seek uh, some help, at least from NEMA for immediate, uh, you know, so that for our people uh, will just come and, 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 and see what they can do because and, uh, the federal government is already taking some necessary action to see how they can help the people of uh, Yola and Adama in, in general. As the traders painfully count their losses, they are relying on the authorities to not just rehabilitate them, but put in place safety measures to prevent a recurrence. So the South-South, as part of efforts aimed at ensuring access to efficient and quality health care by the people of Cross River State, the government have announced the establishment of a social health insurance scheme. Under the scheme, all taxable adults may be required to make a monthly contribution of 1,000 Naira, which will guarantee them free treatment for ailments, including operations that would have cost millions of Naira. The state governor, Ben Ayade, disclosed this shortly after inspecting the specialist hospital currently under construction at the Summit Hills, Calabar, and said an executive bill will soon be sent to the House of Assembly for consideration. We have a pharmaceutical company coming here in Crossover State, so we have a major demand point where our drugs will find utility. So we have a situation where the economics of mass production and mass purchase and mass demand, which will happen as a result of the unity between this hospital and the pharmaceutical company. It then means that our people will take advantage of this economics of scale and benefit from just a minimal sum of 12,000 Naira a month. So you have no worries whatsoever. As a citizen of Cross River State, you have high near, you have hypertension, or you need a kidney transplant. All of those complex medical issues can be addressed within a budget of one billion per month. Cross River State Governor Ben Ayade to the southwest, the Lagos State Government has come out to defend its action in the demolition of a market in Oshodi, insisting that it was taken in the overall interest of the public good, safety and security. Speaking during a joint press briefing addressed by the State Ministers of Information and Strategy, the Environment, Physical Planning and Urban Development, Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs and the Office of Civic Engagement, the state government said it has constructed an alternative market store for the traders, which can conveniently accommodate over 600 shops, hundreds of key clamps, and agree to subsidize payment by giving the shops at the new market at a monthly giveaway price of just 5,000 Naira. The Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Steve Ayorinde, also adds that the traders were adequately notified before the exercise took place as required by law. 
and that government engage with the leadership of the market severally before carrying out the demolition exercise. Satisfied that we had provided uh, a befitting alternative, uh, we started another round of engagement with the leadership of the market. And then, ultimately, His Excellency the Governor, Governor Akin Umiambodi, now appealed through um, the Honorable Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs to invite the leadership of that market to the ESCO chambers. Back to the South-South, the River State Police Command have been taking stock of their activities in the year gone by. The command says it recovered over 26,000 sorts of assorted arms and ammunition, cartridges, 10 IED material, as well as 137 million Naira in cash from suspected criminals. The command spokesman, DSP Ahmed Mohammed, said 802 suspected robbers, kidnappers and cultists were nabbed in various operations. Hundreds of assorted firearms and ammunition are paraded in the premises of the River State Police Command in Port Harcourt, which, according to the police, were mapped up in 2015. Officers and men of the state anti robbery squad are also on parade, dressed in their newly approved uniforms, perhaps a sign of a renewed fight against crime and criminality in the state. But those of them that are arrested with these arms, I can confirm to you that most of them have been charged to the court. Is a on conspiracy or illegal possession of arm or arm and ammunition. If that is a conspiracy, if there are more than one, there are two or three, they will be charged for with conspiracy and illegal possession of arm and uh, illegal firearms. So we want to stay, I want to let me assure the members of the public, particularly the people of the River State, uh, we have mapped out the plan in order to mop up this kind of arms in the state. For the police, residents must maintain a high level of security consciousness. I'm particularly thrilled by the very high level of maturity and security consciousness displayed by the people by the way of divulging actionable and timely information to the police. Consequently, I urge for similar level of cooperation, support and understanding to the command in the year 2016. As the River State Police Command counted the gains in 2015, increased raids on criminal hideouts, crime and criminality are expected to yield more results in the new year. Emmanuel Ere, Channels Television News. And that's where we'll draw the curtains for this edition of news across Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Alumide Macaulay. Have a great weekend.